all been there. You're watching a movie or a TV show and some character pulls out their knitting or you cut to a scene where someone is holding knitting needles and of course as having an interest on it and actually knowing how to knit it is always a little bit exciting and a little bit like I want to see if they can actually do it and most of the time it's they know basic and all like somebody show them sometimes it's just straight up what are what is happening in this scene and it, it's kind of fun to poke at it we've all seen the reels and the tiktoks making fun of the situation in which actors are holding needles and yarn but not really doing anything close to knitting and there are other actors who are actually really into it and towards hollywood there's a lot of you know behind the scenes in which you know that so and so is actually a great knitter so it, it's like a little tidbit of fun things that i like to see when i'm watching movies just like when i see a movie set in, set in new york and i watch it i'm like that's clearly not new york that's brooklyn that is a few blocks from here in queens there's no way that's manhattan it's just kind of fun when you actually know. So I wanted to look at a few shows and movies that I have seen where knitting is present and I don't exactly remember if all of them had good or bad knitting but so I thought it would be fun if we could rate these TVs and movies. Now before I go into the rating scale I do want to say that I do not blame any actors for not knowing how to knit. You know, if it's really part of a character's personality or story I would kind of expect that they do put the effort to learn but you know sometimes a director will pull out a prop and think like oh actually it would be nice if you're there in the corner and you're knitting in the moment and the actor doesn't have time to prepare so it is not their fault sometimes they're put in situations where they do their best um and other times you're like well you took classes for riding horses and workouts for being strong and being able to do certain moves can't take 10 minutes to teach someone to learn a knit not blaming the actors but having a little fun with it let's rate this movies and tv show with the following scale for those that are doing a beautiful job at knitting on screen i'm gonna give them the rating of expert knitter for those of the well at least they're kind of doing it right and maybe it doesn't look perfect there maybe it's you know kind of wonky knitting but they are knitting i'm gonna give them a for effort and for those that i don't know what they're doing with their hands or needles or yarn and they're just kind of pretending i'm gonna give them a frogged because that thing whatever they were making was definitely frogged at some moment so let's go into it and rate some of these movies and shows i'm gonna give you a little context for the scene and then we're gonna look at the knitting and react to it basically that's good that's uh, this is how it's gonna go the first one is coincidentally one of my favorite shows uh called the midwife which is a bbc adaptation of a book and then extended into way more seasons and stories and it is you guess about midwives uh but all you need to know about this scene is one that this is a period drama and it said this is this is from season two episode eight and it's in the 50s so I tend to see a lot of more knitting when it's period. I think, I don't know, the directors just think like people in the past knitted more than now. But anyway, in this case, I chose this scene because I know that it's actually very important for the plot that they're, that they're knitting something. Uh, they're, one of the midwives is pregnant and she's gonna, she's gonna go into labor very soon. And they are knitting squares to make a blanket for her one of the nuns is supposed to be knitting squares but she's not really doing it so some of the midwives step in to help her so this is the scene where we see them knitting squ knitting squares for the blanket that's what we're seeing okay well that is knitting but she was holding it against some crochet squares which is kind of weird it's like she has crochet squares on her needle on her knees but some knitting in her needles both of them which i guess it's fine i just don't understand why if they are actually knitting they would choose to show them with crochet so they're both knitting english style and they are actually knitting there's a bit of in between the cuts sometimes they're not matching up what they're doing but that's fine and i think 
I don't remember the actor's name, but the one on the the blonde one is a little more of an expert knitter than the brunette actress. Has is having a little bit of a harder time with the knitting, but they're both actually knitting. The part that I don't understand is why they have crochet squares in there. Like she's holding crochet crochet squares as she's knitting squares, and she says blanket squares. So. And she actually says, I don't understand why we have to be knitting blanket squares. So where do the crochet squares come from? I don't know. Doesn't make sense. I guess crochet squares make more sense for blanket squares than knitting. But they wanted to show them knitting. I, I guess maybe knitting looks better on screen than crochet because of the idea of what people have, what knitting is, the two, the two needles. But they're holding the needles correctly. They are actually knitting. So I'm going to give them expert knitting. I'm gonna give them that. Now, in that same episode, a little bit later, the whole idea of the blanket squares comes back because the character that was pregnant goes into labor, she has issues, and then she's sent to the hospital. So all the other midwives are kinda waiting on her and they're worried about her and they don't know what to do. So they just sit around and looking at each other and someone says, okay, maybe we should be needing, maybe we should be finishing that blanket that we were working on earlier in the episode. So they're all sitting together to finish this blanket, and this is the second scene in this same episode. As we waited for news that you come, it seems we have never been closer, never more subsumed into a single task. Okay, what happened to the knitting skirts they were making? What happened? This has always been something that really bothers me about this scene where I love the idea of them coming together to like spend this moment waiting for to hear news from someone in the hospital to sew together all these blanket squares and it also feels you know that's that's what we would do you got all these squares and then you and you sew them together and they are sewing them and they look great and whatever but they're all crochet squares so what happened to the knitting they, they just were there squares that bad that they weren't included or maybe it's the fact that all of them were crochet squares and knitting squares would not make any sense in the crochet blanket i'm letting it go because it's a very sweet story time storyline but there is no no knitting involved in that crochet blanket so that bothers me <laughs> it would always bother me even though i love 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 this show <sighs> but at least they were knitting and I will still give them expert knitter because they were knitting before. But that scene with the crochet blankets, that's not knitting. I think I, th I need a fourth category for the rating, which is that's crochet. <laughs> that's This is where this scene is going. Okay, so our next movie is Fargo from 1996 by the Coen brothers. And in this movie, this guy basically is hiring some bad guys to kidnap his wife so that he can get the ransom money from his father-in-law. So it's like a fake kidnap, supposedly. But the, the she doesn't know, she's not expecting it. So she's at home watching TV and she's knitting and then these people show up. So we're gonna watch the scene of, of her knitting, watching TV. This is so 90s, I love it. The knitting is so wonky. Well, look at her. She's doing it. <laughs> also, props for watching TV and knitting. Like, excellent. And she stops when she's look at the guy <laughs> trying to kidnap her very stealthy. That was actually really good. And it's funny because like the first time I watched it, I was like, is she actually knitting? I, I can't tell. And I think it was because the the whatever she's knitting looks so wonky. <laughs> like the gauge is all over the place. It really does look like a beginner. But there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I, I really like it. It's a nice detail that... I feel like most of the time 
they have somebody in the props department or whatever knit something put it on the needles and then give it to the actor to like do the scene so that they have something already knitted but in this case i don't know either the person with the props purposefully did it in a way that it's wonky so that it looks like she's knitting it because she's not she's knitting but she's she's fine she's knitting it but it's not like super fast or anything and it kind of goes with like her being you know she's watching tv she's not doing a great job but she's doing it she's just relaxing at home it just works perfectly and then the little detail of her having like a crochet blanket over her couch which again implies that she has also crochet because you know it's the same thing it's the same thing as knitting you make crochet blankets with knitting joking she, she it's you know it's kind of like part of her personality that she she makes stuff so i actually really like that i like that she's like just woken up all her hair is messy she's knitting this wonky whatever it is watching tv watching daytime tv it's just actually really good the knitting is fine she's like, knitting fine i think i'm gonna give her a for expert just because even though the, the wonky knitting and like all the details it just feels like they actually put the effort of making it realistic and i really like it now that i watch it again okay so this next one is a classic movie that you, maybe a lot of you have seen great movie from the 1961 and it's breakfast with tiffany's with audrey hepburn very famous movie really iconic for everything the way it looks and the story and everything there is also a very famous knitting scene in this movie if you haven't seen it and i thought i would include it because why not it's a fun one so let's watch it i love when not only are the characters knitting just for background or for having them do something but because it's part of the plot somehow i love when they do that so let's watch this clip The ball of yarn. <laughs> Why is she holding the needles like that? Audrey. <laughs> this is such a good scene she's listening to i guess french a record for learning french or something and i love how she has this red bright red yarn in a fishbowl that's hanging from the wall and then as she pulls the yarn you follow it i love love that that's such a cool fun detail and the closer you get to her the more you see of her mess of tangled yarn and then whatever she's i don't even know what she's knitting is at first i thought it was a scarf but it's actually it's actually like some sort of like weird shaped thing so clearly and it's all wonky and weird so clearly like they they're playing with the idea like she does not know what she's doing like she's not supposed to know what she's doing i think but maybe she does know enough because she's knitting stock in it okay so or whatever whoever knit this prop it's stuck in it so they would know how to pearl and this she does not look like she knows how to pearl so mm, i don't know about that yeah she's holding the needles like the weirdest way like she's she's holding them like this and then like going like this with the yarn it's so funny audrey i love you but i'm gonna give you a for effort because she's kind of knitting and in the scene she's supposed to not really know what she's doing i think that's the the idea so it works but it is so funny and i i can't tell if she actually knows how to knit or not or she's or she's acting it that way on purpose if she is then pretty cool but i'm just gonna give it a for effort a for effort on this one but i love this scene i love the setup everything about it the red super red yarn and the fact that she answers the phone the she answers the door holding this gigantic whatever thing with her needles it's just like hey yeah i was just knitting no big deal it is very funny because i am me i'm also gonna 
choose a clip from an animated short because of course I love animation if you didn't know and um, this is a Wallace and Gromit bit it's from The Wrong Trousers which is probably their best short slash movie they ever made and if you don't know Wallace and Gromit <laughs> I don't know how to explain it to you it's a man and a dog and they are plasticine <laughs> and they're animated and they have adventures and they're pretty funny and the dog Gromit does not speak but he knits so let's watch this scene in which he is not very happy because he was just forced to take a walk with these robotic trousers you have probably seen the scene before if you've ever spent time on the internet because it is used a lot in memes Okay, so I always think this is so funny because I don't know if, if you have subtitles, but I think there is that meme or that like gif of him knitting and the subtitles say angrily knits. <laughs> and it's just so funny that he's just so annoyed but he continues knitting. Um, it's great. All right, so well, he's not knitting. He's not doing anything. <laughs> It's surreal. It is, it is animation, so I'll give it that. And they actually did knit a little prop thing. And the one thing I do love is like he's kind of holding the needles right, and he does have like a bit of yarn wrapped around his finger, and he's going up and down. But he's not actually knitting anything. I guess that makes that would have been way too much animation. So I'm gonna give it A for effort. It's so funny. It is such a funny scene and such a funny way of using his knitting. And I'm pretty sure, I, I don't remember if it's in this short or in a different one, but there's another point in which Gromit uses the, his knitting for something. I forget. They, 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 it, it is established that Gromit is a knitter. And I love that he has his little basket of yarn. And it's just like, it's so British. I love it. It's so funny. Okay, and for the last scene that we're watching today, I chose something really iconic that I think a lot of people think about when they think of knitting depicted in movies, which is one of the Harry Potter movies. And the first time we're introduced to their magical knitting needles. I think this is the second movie and I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen this, but I thought let's watch it again. Let's see if it's actually knitting. It's not much, but it's home. Okay. What was that? <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it right there. I'm just gonna go back a little bit and look at this. Is that actual knitting? I can't tell. This is it's crochet, <laughs> of course. What I don't understand. Okay, I really need to talk about prop with prop people and ask them is it you? Is it the director who tells you that you're supposed to that you, you should crochet a blanket? And then attach knitting to the top of it and then pretend that it's been knitting that whole blanket. I don't understand. Maybe the, maybe I'm wrong because this is not like the best quality. Hi, this is Editing Magali. I think I might have made a mistake. I think it might not be crochet. I was just very like wind up from seeing so much crochet on this. I think it might be knitting. I think it's one of those slip stitches that kind of makes it look a little bit like crochet. I, now that I see it a little closer on my computer, I'm not 100% sure. It's still a weird decision to have that stitch and then have stocking it on top. I don't know. But I just wanted to come in and say I think I was wrong. So ignore what I say about it being crochet, but yeah. There isn't even like yarn attached to it. I, I, I can't tell. Maybe there is, but it's not. the yarn's not moving. Just The needles are going back and forth with no passing any needle it's just the clicking noises and it's a crochet blanket i never noticed this before like i remember that this scene had that iconic magical needles which seems kind of a nice idea but it's basically the same as a knitting machine right it's like doing the knitting for you kind of i think we're gonna give this one a rating of it's crochet it's crochet and you're not actually knitting anything so why you know, going into this video, I didn't expect, A, that some of the actors would be re doing some pretty decent knitting and that it would be so many details about it in the stories that I didn't remember were there. And that's pretty neat. And I really enjoy when they do that. 
and I also didn't realize how much crochet is past those knitting like don't just just say it's crochet is it because people don't know the word crochet as much then then why not make it look like knitting I don't understand what the logic is behind it and I hope we stop doing that please just just show knitting well that was those were all the movies that I rated today. I was very surprised by the results. I really expected more not so great knitting happening and not nearly as much crochet <laughs> as we got, but that was really fun. And if there are any other movies or TV shows that you remember seeing knitting either done well or done not so great, send them to me, put them in the comments and I can make a part two of this watching those. I can't wait to watch more TVs and movies and enjoy their craft. <laughs> if you're looking for knitting patterns or tutorials or sewing stuff that has to do with period dramas, uh, you should give me a follow because I do talk about that a lot here and I will make more ratings of movies and TV shows. So stay tuned for that. And other than that, happy watching and happy knitting.